along the way, I realized that what I was really good at or what I'm better at than other things is helping people understand what's happening around them, what it means to them, and how they can feel empowered to do something about it. So I spent most of my career doing consulting where I would go in and have, try to create the state change. And in that process, I would do lots of kind of talks to folks uh, informally and formally. And then I realized that the, my highest potential impact was the talk when it came to like building the program or you know, creating the new organizational structure or whatever it was that also needed to take place. That's when I'd start whining at home. I'd be like, I hate this storm, it's really annoying. But at the front end, when things were completely chaotic and they needed somebody to say, this is where we're going, this is what it looks like, this is how we move there, let me explain the world around you so that we can make the state change, then I pivoted to that's all I do. And so I encourage other people to figure out if you can, what's the thing you're best at? Who will pay for it? Who will pay the most for it? Makes you feel good. And how do you create a living doing that thing that you feel that you're best at? Because the more we get people to do the thing, you've got the internal drive to do it too. That we're all in kind of in our sweet spot. You know, it's like if you're a, a baseball player and they make you go up at bat, but you're terrible at bat, but you're really good at first base. Why do you have to go up to bat? That's how I think we need to think about organizations. Let's, let's not create an artificial box and then look for somebody who looks fits best in the box and then beat on them for all the ways they don't fit in the box. Let's look at what people are good at and build the organizational structure around that. And from what I understand in this organization, that's what you guys do. You go into organizations with the thing you're best at.